Okay, I had a couple questions about the sunstick um, recipe that I posted online last week, and I also wanted to give a little bit of an update of um, how it worked for me and a couple of my kids at the beach. Um, I want to just kind of give you the pros and the cons because while it is, the, let me start with the pros. The pros are that it comes in this kind of a hands, I mean you don't get your hands greasy from a cream, so it's very easy to apply. The, the coloring is very, very light. You know, it's got a little bit of whiteness, but it's not going to make you look like a ghost. Um, it's, kids can apply it to their own skin. Um, if you want to put it on your face, you know, you can. Actually, a con, I should warn you, though, that it, it's kind of like a hard lotion bar. So if you're going to apply it all over your face and you're prone to breaking out, you may not want to do that. You may not want to use this because of the thickness of the ingredients could block your pores and cause acne. Um, but if you don't have a problem or if you have very dry skin or um, you just your face feels very dry from swimming, then it would work well. I had one of my kids who uh, I applied it pretty quickly and he was in the ocean within seconds practically. And um, he's the one kid that got quite burnt and I wish I would have applied it. This is five hours um, between the hours of 12 noon and 5 p.m. at the ocean in Santa Cruz. And so he did get pretty burned and um, I should have applied it more and I should have applied some of the cream that I have too, of the sunscreen. Those are the two products that I made and brought with us. Um, as far as myself, though, I, I did pretty well. I didn't burn. My back did burn, but it's because I didn't apply it to my back. Uh, I wasn't very careful. And I did apply it to my arms and my face and my chest, and it, and it seemed to be fine. Um, so I would say it works really well. Uh, the other con is that I rubbed it all over my legs, and we're at the beach with a lot of sand. And so that night, I had just, it was just a bear to, to wipe, to, um, in the shower to get all the sand off, but you could could see that as an exfoliant, a natural exfoliant if you want. I took advantage of that and really scrubbed my feet well with it to um, just get some scrubbing going on. So the other, something else I was going to say, I also made some of the smaller applicators. A few people asked, where do you get those cute little deodorant tubes? This is, sm this is like a one of the regular size um, deodorant tubes and this is the small so it is quite a bit smaller but it's nice to fit in your purse or give each person in your family their own to carry around and um, this I got from specialtybottle.com a few years ago so I don't know if they still sell them I bought a lot probably at least a hundred or two hundred of these applicators and I still have a lot and again they're in my workroom taking up space so if you are interested, I do sell the DIY lotion and lip balm kit, which comes with four lip balm tubes. If you would like, um, ask, email me, see if I still have these. This is in June 2013, so if you're seeing this video a year later, I may not have any more. But if you'd like to order that kit and then replace the four lip balm tubes with one of these, you can do that. I'd be happy to swap that out for you, and that will help me get rid of some of all these empty tubes that I have. Um, the other thing you can do, because that kit will, if you add a zinc oxide, it will make enough um, to, with one of those zinc oxides added, you'll have everything you need to make the sun sticks. But there's something else you can do, because it makes a lot and you only have one tube. A couple of things you can do. One is um, you could even buy a deodorant tube with the deodorant in it at a dollar store and then get rid of the deodorant. If you um, otherwise, a better way is if you have any extra deodorant tubes laying around that you want to recycle and use, that works out great too. Um, and the other thing you can do is actually make your sun sticks like you're making a hard lotion bar. And I show that in the video that you can just pour it into a mold, let it set, and it would actually be a bar you know, just it would be just like this except more white. It actually brings a nice whiteness to it. And you you would just rub that sun stick uh, onto your skin. So your hands are going to get the, the sunscreen on your hands, but you wouldn't be wasting all that if you did not have enough applicators. Uh, so there's a few things you can do with that. Uh, another question someone asked is, how what's the SPF like? I use, um, Burt's Bees has a page that explains the proportion of of um, zinc oxide to your total amount and it comes out to be approximately 30 SPF but uh, I would lessen that a little bit just to be conservative. 
Um, and if you wanted to add more, if you want a higher SPF, you could add more zinc oxide. If you do that, it's going to make a thicker stick. So make sure you lessen the amount of beeswax. And I don't have exact proportions, but that's just an option you can do so that uh, you would raise the level of SPF. But also note that you will get more of a whiteness. So if, if you are very fair skin and are concerned about that, you can up the zinc oxide. Um, and make it your own way that way. So I think that's about it. Again, it doesn't, it will still allow you to tan. I mean, I, I got a nice brown from being at the beach on Saturday. So um, it will give you a nice tan and it will prevent a little bit of the sunburn action, but be careful and reapply, especially if you're in water. I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily, I don't want to say that it's completely waterproof. I just feel um, uncomfortable making that statement, but um, just check your skin often and anytime you get that little bit of a tingle definitely reapply before it's too late. If you have any questions email me renee at hardlotion.com